Hello everybody, I am Theo Montoya. I am the director of Son of Sodom. I am from Colombia. First, I want to say I'm very happy and very proud to be here in this festival with this incredible selection. Son of Sodom is a very personal story. It's the story of a friend, Camilo Najar. It's the story in a way of my city, Medellin. And it's a portrait of a generation. I hope that all the people can enjoy my, my, my film. I want to be there in Busan one day. And thanks for support the cinema in this time. And sorry for my English. And I don't know what other teams say. So regards from Colombia, from Medellin. And ciao. Y que viva el cine. سلام من امیر حسین محسنی هستم کارگردان فیلم گوشتخار امسال به نمایندگی از ایران تو این جشنواره حضور دارم خیلی خوشحال و هیجان زدم از اینکه قرار فیلمم تو این فستیوال به نمایش در بیاد بی صبرانه منتظر بازخوردها از طرف دوستان فیلمساز و تماشاگرانی که فیلم رو میبینن هستم چون قلبا به این اعتقاد دارم که این فیدبک ها میتونه مسیر رو برای یک فیلمساز هموارتر بکنه خیلی دوست داشتم بدون هیچ واسطه ای توی جشنواره حضور پیدا کنم و از نزدیک به تماشای فیلم ها میشستیم ولی خب متاسفانه به دلیل شرایط های موجود این امکان میسر نیست آرزوی قلبی اینه که هرچه سریعتر هرچه زودتر این محدودیت ها از بین بره و با هم دیگه دوباره در کنار هم توی سالن های سینما جمع بشیم و لذت تماشای فیلم ها روی پرده نقره ای رو دوباره احساس کنیم. Hi, I'm David Williams. I'm the director of Ada. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you very much for selecting the short film for your festival. Um, Ada was made with funds from a prize I won uh, in 2010 when graduating film school. Uh, after film school, I mainly started working as a cinematographer. Uh, and so it took me 10 years to complete this film. Um, Karen Kreiser, who plays the lead role, uh, we found through a casting process. Uh, Karen is a student here in Brussels uh, at a performing arts school called Parts. Um, I'm very excited to hear you'll be watching the film uh, in an actual cinema uh, and opposed to here where we have to watch everything on, a, on our TV or laptop. Uh, the film was absolutely made to be seen and heard in a, in a real cinema. So I'm very excited that's the case over there. Uh, I hope you can appreciate the film uh, and many greetings from Belgium. Bye. Hello everybody, my name is Telje Petraki. I am sending you this, um, this video from Athens, Greece. I'm really, really happy uh, that my film Bella uh, is taking part at the uh, international uh, at the Busan International Short Film Festival this year, and so um, Bella, it's um, it's a film based on on some uh, real letters of a woman uh, that she wrote to her husband um, while he was away in Moscow. Uh, uh, from the year 1986 to the year 1987 and uh, through these letters I created a mosaic of this woman's um, fears, inspirations, desires, fantasies, insecurities and so uh, I hope you enjoy the film thank you very very much um, bye bye for now 
Hi, my name is uh, Catherine. I'm the director of Girls Shouldn't Walk Alone at Night. Uh, first, I want to thank the, the festival for the selection. I am uh, really grateful to be part of this uh, edition of the uh, Busan Short Film Festival. Girls Shouldn't Walk Alone at Night is my first film since I graduated from film school in 2017. I first wrote the script uh, throughout the years of 2017 and 2018 and I shot it in September 2019 on the south shore of Montreal, Canada, where I live. The story um, is about Chantal who on the night of her prom um, only wants to uh, get closer to Delphine, a girl from her school. So Chantal doesn't care about the party and she just wants to uh, go back home with Delphine. But uh, the man who is supposed to give uh, Chantal and Delphine a lift uh, left them out in the woods. Then the two teenagers has to find their own way to, uh, to go back home. So uh, began a journey, uh, a journey through the night where uh, Delphine and Chantal uh, find each other. With, um, with this film, um, I wanted to, I really wanted to talk about the girl's drive to, the girl's drive to self-sufficiency um, in a man's world. And also, I wanted to talk about uh, girls and women, sexuality and desire outside uh, of men's spectrum. So for me, Girls Shouldn't Walk Alone at Night it's, uh, is a film about uh, desire, anger and freedom. Um, so I really hope you uh, you will like the film and I am really looking forward to present it uh, at Busan. So uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Olá pessoal, tudo bem? Meu nome é Matheus Farias e eu sou um dos diretores e roteiristas do filme Inhabitável. E o meu nome é Enoque Carvalho, eu também sou roteirista e diretor do filme. Inhabitável narra a jornada de uma mãe buscando pela sua filha, que está desaparecida. É... Essa mãe chama-se Marilene e a filha chama-se Roberta. Roberta saiu para uma festa e não voltou para casa. E Roberta é uma mulher trans, negra. E no Brasil, é... essa é uma realidade muito dura. Infelizmente, o Brasil é líder de assassinatos de pessoas trans há 13 anos consecutivos. E esse é um filme que fala sobre esperança sobre futuro, é, é um filme que olha para daqui a alguns anos à frente e deseja que a realidade seja outra, né, e espero que vocês gostem do filme. É isso, a gente espera que vocês assistam o filme, gostem do filme, acompanhem o festival e se cuidem. Um abraço para vocês. Um ótimo festival. Hello, c'est Nelson Foy, le réalisateur de Timunau. Euh, déjà, je voudrais vous remercier pour cette sélection euh, qui m'a beaucoup touché pour un très beau festival, le festival de Busan. Il euh, faut savoir que je suis un très grand fan du euh, cinéma coréen, que Parasite fait partie euh, de mon top 3, euh, le, du top 3 de mes films euh, favoris. Donc euh, voilà, euh, je suis surtout ravi de pouvoir euh, présenter euh, ce film euh, de l'autre côté du monde, dans une culture complètement différente. Un pays euh, aussi lointain. Euh, j'ai écrit Timunao et j'ai réalisé Timunao parce que je voulais parler de plusieurs euh, thèmes, plusieurs choses qui me tenaient à cœur. Euh, à commencer par le thème de la paternité, qui est quelque chose d'assez important chez nous, mais aussi pour euh, remettre en relief la réalité sociale euh, de nos îles ici, de cet endroit du globe, de la Caraïbe, des Antilles françaises, parce qu'on a toujours euh, une idée de la Caraïbe comme étant un, un paradis sur terre, les, les plages de sable fin, la, la mer turquoise, alors que la réalité est euh, un peu plus difficile que ça. Et euh, c'est vrai qu'il y a beaucoup de, beaucoup de drogues chez nous, beaucoup d'armes, beaucoup de violence. Et euh, c'est ce contraste qui tous les jours me frappe, en fait, euh, entre euh, cette image touristique et cette réalité qui m'a poussé aussi à, à faire ce film. J'espère vraiment que ce film vous plaira, ce film vous parlera. 
je pense que c'est un film universel, donc euh, il peut parler à n'importe qui. Et euh, encore une fois, vraiment je vous remercie euh, et continuez à faire du beau cinéma comme vous faites, des belles séries aussi comme vous faites. Et puis euh, je vous souhaite un très bon festival. Merci. Hello fellows from Busan International Short Film Festival. I'm Chen Yun, the director of Before the Typhoon Comes. It's such an honor to share my short film with you. This is a story about family relationship and childhood memory. It's not a fresh topic, but I want to show how these pieces of life, these memories and imagination affect who we are. So I hope you can join us in the theater and enjoy the film. Thank you. Kia ora, my name is Anna Rose Duckworth. I am from Auckland, New Zealand, and I am the writer and director of the short film Pain, which I am really excited to show you. This film is based on an experience I had in childhood. It's about the first time that a young girl sees her father in pain and her reaction to the way that he loses control. Pain is about the journey that all children go on, of realizing that their parents are not hero-like, perfect gods, but are actually just as flawed and vulnerable as all people are. This was particularly important to me as I was eight months pregnant at the time we shot this film, so I was about to become a new parent myself. Thank you, I hope you enjoy the film. Hi everyone, I'm Lila. I'm the director of the short film Menarca. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the film. Uh, the title Menarca, it actually means the first period of a girl in Portuguese. And we were working with this idea of an initiation ritual. Um, we departed from a myth, which is the myth of the vagina dentata at the time. The other scripts writer and I, we, we've been researching a lot on the idea of the monstrous feminine and the way objection is constructed around anything that has to do with or can be related to feminine or to being a woman. So um, we were very fascinated about this myth and scared and shocked as well. And, and we, I was kind of trying to find some... Um, parallel to this myth in my own culture and I realized that actually the words piranha or the piranha fish the way it is applied in Brazil apart from being the fish is also uh, used on a pejorative way to refer to a woman whose sexuality is um, very developed or, or um, empowered or um, something which is used pejoratively. So something like a slut or a whore. So, so this way women are called in Brazil, piranha women, uh, was that, it, it, that we were speaking about sexuality, sexuality, teeth, uh, monstrous feminine hybrid creatures again. And I, 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 we, we just realized that was it. And that's how we were going to start the story. So um, this is the way the myth of the vagina dentata and the piranha women, this hybrid uh, Brazilian female monster appears in, in our film. And then from there, we were pulling threads um, to the story you've seen or that you will see. I hope you like it and thank you for listening and keep safe. And hopefully we meet in person one day soon. Bye bye.